What's going on everybody? Bald man here and today we're going to be playing a custom zombies map. Today's map is going to be uh the world's biggest uh zombie map. That's what it's called. Yep, that is it's it's called the biggest map in zombies. You know it's going to be serious when this is your thumbnail. Let's get this shit started. Now with that sonic picture, I don't know if I need to have high hopes or very very low hopes. I'm not sure which approach to take, but you know something's telling me this map is not going to be triple A title material. I, You know, I'm just calling it. I don't know what's telling. It's like a sixth sense. You know how they're like the five regular senses? Touch, smell, taste, blow, and ears or whatever. And then the sixth one. What the fuck? <laughs> what is this? I mean, okay. I guess they weren't. Is that a... What is that down there? Are those zombies? Oh my god, okay. Okay, can we, can we admire the hand real quick? It's gonna take me a year just to get to a perk. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> what is this? I, you know, I have the high ground, Anakin, so your power is useless against the dark side. Or whatever, I don't know, I never watched those fucking movies. You could spawn in about a hundred zombies. And I don't think any of their dicks would touch me the entire time. I think that's speed. That's green. Uh, I don't know what that is. I see a flopper. Is that a quicker? I don't know. It's, let's fucking just run over there. It's not even... Nothing's getting bigger. Like, I feel like I'm not even getting any closer because they're all the same size. I mean, well, shit. The mod creator didn't lie. This is, this is, a, this is huge. Okay, what do we have? We have Widow's Wine. A, a, what are you? That's a Cuda. Uh, an RK5, a Bulldog, that, that's such a, okay, that's a random gun, and Flopper. Oh, hello, how you doing? I, I can't even see half the zombies. This is, this is my life, this is, this is what all, everything that I've done in my life has led up to this moment right here. This is the reason I, I live, is, is to run around in these maps. This is, this is why I play zombies. Why do I get into the box? I gotta clear the debris? Are you fucking kidding me? That's some bullshit. Let's hit the gobble gum, because you know me. I always have world-class helpful gobble gums. I don't know what this does. Give the heads of all zombies you can see killing them. Eh, hang on. What button is it? What button is that? One. Ha ha ha. Oh, well, hang on. That's bullshit. I can see you, you fuck. It's not like you can hide behind anything in this vast oasia of nothingness. I'm not sure what that word means. Let's try that again. There we go. That one worked. That's better. That was not a waste of gobble gum at all. That was a waste of running over here. All right, let's let's head back to the box, I guess, because we're gonna need a gun. This is stupid. Why am I pl why am I playing this? Why why do I do the things that I do? I honestly don't think I'll ever get hit by a, a zombie. I I don't think it's possible. I really don't. Ten thousand? Are you fucking kidding me? What? Hang on. Okay. That's cool. Very cool, Kanye. That's exactly what I want to do. Is is pay ten thousand just to hit the, the damn box when it takes ten thousand years for the zombies to get to me. Okay, that's very cool. I'm gonna eat a grape. Oh, that grape was really good. It was the purple kind. If you like green grapes, you might as well sig heil on your way to work, you fucking degenerate. So now that I got you here, uh, let's 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 discuss some things. You guys know what happens in these kind of series. We just talk about random shit. And let's let's get into it. So if you show, showed up to my, my streams where uh, we get naked periodically throughout the stream, uh, if you show up to my streams, you would know this story. But recently, I went hiking with some friends. Yes, I have friends, and no, I yeah, okay, I pay them to be my friend, but it's they're still friends, okay? So I went hiking with a bunch of people, and uh, on the way there, we we stopped at a hotel. We went through the boonies. And when I mean boonies, I mean like, imagine a bunch of white people that smoke meth out in the countryside because it's all they do for fun. That That is where we were. And there happened to be some, some hiking trails around there. I guess, I guess smoking meth and eating uh, some ribs and growing corn. A lot of corn. That's really all they do out there and, and the white people boonies. So we drove through the white people boonies, we saw many fine establishments such as Jimbo's Beer and Beans or whatever the fuck it was. Many high-ranking establishments. I don't think I saw one McDonald's. It was crazy. But as we were going there, we uh, stopped at our hotel, which was rather nice. Now usually when you think of a hotel, you think of like a bunch of restaurants near it. Uh, there was a, a bull, a statue of a bull with his nuts. That There was one of those. And uh, there was a field 
I think there was an insurance company, and yeah, that was that was really about. Yeah, there was a place where you could get alcohol, because you know what else the fuck are you gonna do out there? And as we pulled up, I was driving my car, parked in the parking spot, nice and firm and tight as it should be. Uh, we we walk inside, and the dude behind the counter starts, you know, praising me for my car. He's like, "Hey man, I love your car. Your car is freaking sweet. Where'd you get it?" He starts asking me all these questions about it, and me, I'm a very naive young lady, and I was just like, "Wow, this guy's really interested in my car. That's that's awesome because I'm also very interested in my car." So he keeps asking me all these questions about it, and starts telling me like how he is his dream car and shit, and how he wants one. Now I have an Audi A5, so it's not like you know the world's greatest car ever made so i just thought this guy just really liked audis audi audi i don't know fucking germans don't know how to name shit i just thought he really liked it but i had to go around to my car and grab some more bags and uh your boy was wearing his tank top you know the usual wife beater because women don't deserve rights but as i was walking back to my car uh apparently he stared me down the entire way he may or may not have licked his lips at one point and i'm pretty sure in his mind he he pictured me in a speedo so as i walked back in he gave me that look to my eyes you know the kind that says i wear running shorts so i was not a fan of that and uh, every chance he got he, he would eye fuck me now i'm not saying that's rape but uh, in 2019 that's rape and i didn't notice this until everyone started telling me about it so the moral of this story is if i was a female i'd get taken advantage of a lot. This is taking so long to get to the- I just- oh my god, is there better- is there a Bible ending? No, of course not. This is just a fucking cube. Why would there be a Bible ending? I just want 10 grand. Where's the gobble gum machine at? I don't remember where it was. Fuck. I think it's over here? I don't know. Let's- let's run 10 miles. I didn't know I was a fucking Kenyan. I'm not trying to run the entire goddamn day. Alright, let's see what other great gobble gums I have in my collection. What is this one? Repair a board will kill all nearby zombies. Well, that's fucking helpful. Yeah, gra glad I grabbed that one. Now I gotta grab more ammo. I like the random wall selections. You get a Kuda, an RK, and, and a Bulldog, which I'm pretty sure isn't even in normal Treyarch zombies. That's always fun. What compels someone to make this map? Like, what, what compels you to fucking do this? Did like, Who just sits down and says, you know what? I'm just gonna make a giant square. Fuck everybody. I'm just gonna make a square, and, and they're gonna enjoy it, because they're retarded. And you know what? He's 100% right. Oh, this this gobblegum's timed? That's fucking stupid. Why would you have that timed? Wouldn't that be, like, one you want to use? Or I don't know. I'm dumb. Who cares? What'd I get? I just took this. Did I just buy Deadshot? Oh, I'm fucking stupid. God damn it. I just bought Deadshot. Motherfucker. Oh, god damn it. Silly sounds play when you kill a zombie? Okay. These are dumb. Alright, this gobblegum is really getting on my nerves now. It's 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 not even good sounds. It's just royalty free shit tier ones. Alright, door is open. Yay! Now I need enough to, to do a thing. Where's the Okay, what's in here? What do we got in here? We have oh end your suffering. Fifty thousand. You're goddamn right. Uh, the mystery box, pack a punch, and wonder fizz. At least I don't have to run anymore. That's good. That's thank God. I don't. I don't feel like running. I'm too bald for that. All right. Let's see what the heavens decide to give me. Oh, okay. A dingo. That's not too bad, actually. I'm gonna. I'm gonna take that. That is not too bad. I don't even want to run out there. Like I just. I don't. It's just like looking at this gives me anxiety. Cause this is just why. I mean, I like how he's considerate and he put like two little mounds there. I don't, I don't know what the point of those are. Like, look at that fucking dude all the way out there. Look how tiny he is. That's like my dick, dude. Can't even fucking see it. Oh shit. Oh shit. All right, I'm gonna need some speed cola here. I didn't want to leave my little bungalow, but some banditos appeared and I gotta kill them. So hang on, let me. I need speed cola. And not dead shot. Why do I have dead shot? Why? Why? Why do? You, why do you do this to me, Satan? All right, double tap. That's what's up. Let's hit the box again. I don't want to end my suffering just quite yet. No, I want to hit the box. Oh, the PPSH. Does this, does this make sound? Usually in custom zombie maps, it does it. Oh, it does. Look at that. What up? What up? We're three cool guys looking for other cool guys to hang out in our party mansion. Nothing sexual. You guys want to hang out in my party mansion? We'll get, like, shirtless, maybe wrestle a little bit, you know? Because fitness is encouraged. But we don't want a bunch of fighters. 
But if you're fat, you should be able to find humor in the little things. So that's, you know... This party mansion's pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. You ever just spend five hours modding Fallout New Vegas? Because I just did. I'm gonna start making Fallout New Vegas videos, and I spent five hours... And it wasn't like I spent five hours modding different mods. I think, like, three of those hours were spent trying to get a bouncing titty mod in there. And, I, and, and even after the three hours, I, I couldn't get it to work. It kept crashing when my titties would bounce. So that's a that's a shame. Because you, once you reach the pinnacle of, of booby... That's the pinnacle of booby mods right there, is once you make them bounce. With armor, too? Like, that's pretty, that's pretty rad, if you ask me. What else am I getting? Can we grab all the perks? If I can only get four, I'm going to feel really dumb. Oh, okay. You can only have four perks? Are you fucking kidding me? All right, this is the winner's choice right here, boys. You want four perks, you get Deadshot, Double Tap, Widow's Wine, and Stamina. Up. This, this was totally my decision. My, my body, my choice. Ugh, this map reminds me of Darren because it's shit. If you don't know who Darren is, oh, you're in for a treat. If you don't show up to the live streams, you know, you fucking loser. You should, uh, because I've told this story many of times. We got fucking Darren. We got Darren. Uh, so back when I was like in... Uh, I was a wee little lad. Young and young school. Young, age young. And I went to elementary school, as many humans do. And at this elementary school... Uh, I, I liked to keep snacks in my desk because I was a big dick energy. I was thug life. All the bitches got wet when I pulled out my, my honey graham crackers. They all wanted a piece of the rabbit. They all wanted to hop on that Tig Bick. So, at this elementary school, I kept snacks in my desk. We also had this one autistic, I don't know what he was, but because he was a, a dick to me, he, he, gets, he gets the harshest one possible. But his name was Darren, alright? Now, I don't know how special he was. But he was, he was pretty normal besides the fact that he had seizures a lot. I remember when he got, like, you know, uh, shipped to our school from some other country place thing. I don't know where he's from. Whenever he was hatched at our school, we had to take, like, it was during... The thing is, this is what first pissed me off about him because, you know, fuck you. We, at, we, we, English, during recess, we had to go inside and learn about seizures because Darren had so many. All right, that was the first thing that pissed me off about him. All right, I, I lose my precious freeze tag time to learn about seizures. So this white old fuck comes into the classroom and starts telling us about like seizures and that it's totally like a normal thing apparently and what to not do and what to do if somebody has one. I remember like he told us at one point, if, you, if you, someone's having a seizure, don't put a spoon in their mouth. And I'm like, who the fuck has a spoon? on them 24 7 so we had to take this ghetto class during recess about darren and his, his fucking seizures and i was like all right that's that's fine i guess i mean i don't really care I'm, I'm i'm a kid and i'm you know i don't give a shit but what really pissed me off about darren he don't like this was that he's a cunt because we had to do this one thing in math class or whatever dumb class we were taking to where we had to switch desk and D darren he go to my desk and this little cunt yells out, Justin got snacks in his desk. This piece of shit fucking didn't learn that snitches get stitches, bitch. And his seizure having ass rats me out and gets my snacks taken away. So fuck you, Darren. I know it's, this has been at least, this has to be at least 12, 15 years old at this point. But fuck you, you cunt. I was just trying to get my dick wet with some graham crackers. And you're over here. Being a tattletale little bitch, ratting on me, you fucking, you, you whore. God, I hate Darren to this day. I don't know what happened to him. He left, I think he had a seizure, and then he, he changed schools. So that was a thing. But god damn you, Darren. God, god damn you. Alright, I got a bulldog. What is this? Oh, uh, this was a mistake. I also, you know what? Okay, fuck off, zombie. Alright, this is a much better option. I also remember in school, uh, okay, that's, don't touch me, please. This, this is, this is my no-no zone. I also remember one time in school, this is also pissed me off. You ever had to take ballroom dancing in school? Because we did. That was not cool, Kanye. And what pissed me off was, it wasn't during recess. It was during gym class. And, oh, that's loud. That is loud. Wow. Wow, oh, okay, that is very loud. Let's not use that if we can't. I remember we had to take ballroom fucking dancing in, like, fourth grade or whatever. And, 
fourth grade. Like, what? Like, dude, I... Like, bro, I don't even know what a vagina looks like. You expect me to know how to dance? So, instead of them doing it during recess or art or music class, which I fucking hated because I'm 95% sure that teacher was a pedophile, we had to do it during gym, which meant I didn't get to play dodgeball for, like, a solid two weeks because... It always was mysteriously on my class's gym day when we had to take ballroom fucking dancing with this old Jared Fogel from Subway looking motherfucker. And we had to learn ballroom dancing. And of course, it's a bunch of fourth graders. No one's gonna take it seriously. No one's gonna fucking care. I remember at one point, the Subway guy got really pissed off because we were all just not taking it seriously. And he's like, you kids one day, when you're in high school, when about ready to go to prom, are gonna come up to me and say, hey, Mr. Subway, I don't know how to dance, can you teach me how to dance? And I just, I remember that to this day, because that's bullshit, because when I went to the prom, I didn't dance because I'm a fucking loser, but no one else was ballroom dancing. They were all humping each other and making babies. No one was ball, and getting drunk and smoking the weeds, because we are, we are children of Christ. We obey all laws, and Jesus for all the gifts that he brings us during Christmas. I told this in the other stream, but I'm gonna tell it again, because I feel like a lot of people need to know this. Uh. This is very creepy, now that I think about it, like, at the time in kindergarten, I thought it was the cool- I thought we had the cool janitor. Looking back now, that janitor might have been a pedophile. Uh, not- I'm not gonna confirm nor deny these are all allegations, but I, it seems to me he might have been a pedophile. When I was, like, in kindergarten, uh, I was kind of with the cool kids club, you know, the KKK, the cool kids club, and... I- but I wasn't, like, in with the cool kids enough to where... The janitor would come in. So sometimes the janitor would, would, would during recess or shit, take kids away. I, they, I don't know where they went, but they went away with the janitor. And that was really weird now that I look back. Like, at the time, I was like, man, they get to go explore parts of the school with the janitor. I want to go. Because, like, I know occasionally they would get taken out of class to go help them with shit. And I was just so jealous. I was like, damn, man. I wish the janitor would take me alone somewhere. Because we had, like, outside, we had, like, these giant metal grates, and if you open them up, you can go underneath the school to where, like, the old tornado shelters were. And one time, he took, like, four to five kids under there, and I didn't see them until, like, later in the day. And the entire time, I'm like, damn, man, I wish I got picked to go down there. That seems like it'd be fun. And I was a very upset kindergartner that I did not get to get diddled underneath the school. I, I you know, was there something wrong with me? Did he just not want to diddle me? Was I not cool enough to be diddled? Like, I don't know. You know, he really hurt my self-esteem. I thought I was a very cute child, and apparently I was not, because I never got to get diddled underneath the school. I also was such a baller in kindergarten that this one chick, when I transferred to this school in kindergarten, because I transferred, like, on the 100th day of like I transferred, like, mid throughout the year, like, halfway or something like that, because I'm a loser. Because I was, I was originally living in Indiana, out in the boonies with corn and uh, white meth heads. So when I transferred to this school, I was new. I was, like, the new kid. And there was this one chick who apparently had like a really big crush on me. I mean, you know, and I mean, who won it besides the janitor? He didn't want to clap these sweet cheeks, so I guess someone else gets a chance. This one girl had a really big crush on me. Like, looking back on it now, I could easily tell. But at the time, I didn't give a shit. Because I wasn't trying to, you know, fall for these thoughts. I wasn't trying to fall for them hoes mad tricks, you know. I'm not trying to get played by all these thoughts. So I wasn't interested in all the bitches yet. I was interested in watching Dragon Tales on TV. I specifically remember one time, like it seems like it was just yesterday, that's how vividly I can remember this. Uh, we had to go inside for recess because it was raining. And they put Dragon Tales, Dragon Tales, Dragon Tales, these dragons are brother and sister and probably fucking sis. Man, hentai has really ruined me. But they had some awesome Dragon Tales on TV and I'm like, hell yeah. I'm trying to watch me some fucking Dragon Tail. If you don't know what Dragon Tails is, it's like a kid's show about these two dragons. Kid, brother and sister. I, it, it's stupid. It's a kid's show. And uh, I remember I was trying to watch that during recess because I'm a kindergartner. And this chick just kept trying to talk to me and kept trying to get me to compliment her. So I remember like one time she's like, what do you think of my bracelet? Like I just got this bracelet and I was like, oh, it's, it's really cool. In my mind, I'm like, bitch. Dragon Tales is on, motherfucker. I'm trying to watch this shit. And I remember when I told her her bracelet was cool, she like freaked out and had to go like gossip whisper with her friends or something. And she would like just keep trying to get me to compliment her. And she kept telling me how she liked me and shit. And I'm just like, bitch, I'm, I'm, there's fucking Dragon Tales right now. I'm trying to watch this shit. Like, why are you fucking talking to me? And so, you know, your boy had, had the game ever since he was little. What can I say? I don't know why I picked this up. Why'd I grab this? All right, away gun. I don't really want the ray gun though. 
I am a man of culture. There's no such thing as bad titties. We can all agree on this. All titties are good titties. Can this just, can my suffering just end, please? Can we just get to 50,000? We're not even halfway, reload, please. Oh my God, reload, reload, please. Why did I not get C Cola? Why do I have dead shot? Why did I do this to myself? Uh, Dragon Tail Power! Y'all ever do shit as a kid that you're like, wow, that was really fucking dangerous. How did I not die? Because I did. Uh, here, here's one. This one time, me and my friend, he was like, hey, dude, let's go into the woods and totally kiss. No. But uh, this one time, he was like, hey, we're gonna go to this this little rope swing in on the hill, mountain, hill, woods place. And I was like, all right, dope, let's go. But to get there, there's two ways, there's a couple ways to get there. There's the normal way, you can take the road, but that takes an extra minute, so that, that's, that's longer. Why would you do that, stupid? Or, you could run through a field infested with snakes, which I did not learn about until halfway through the field. So we had to run through this, like, little, just open field. I'd say it's like half a football field. Open field, nothing but tall grass. As we start, he's like, all right, we have to get through this field, and then once we get through the field, we climb up this mountain. So we start running through this field, and halfway through it, he's like, oh, by the way, when you run, pick your feet up so you don't step on a snake. And, my God, if that did not scare the living shit out of me, I don't know what did. I, you have, I, I could have probably been in the Olympics with how fast I ran through that field, because your boy is terrified of snakes, all right? There's a reason why in the Bible, Santa Claus came down from the cross and decapitated a snake with Excalibur. There's a reason why that happened, because snakes are fucking evil. If Indiana Jones can be afraid of snakes, so can I. But as we got through this uh, snake-infested cottonmouth field, I, I was a little upset, but he's like, all right, now we gotta climb this mountain, so take off your shirt. So we took off our shirts and climbed this mountain, and once we got to the top, there was like this tire rope swing thingy, and it did not look safe at all. But my friend reassured me that him and his friends come here all the time and swing off, swing off of it. Now, the best way to describe this is like a 50 foot drop. So like we, it, the mountain at one point where the swing goes is like, it goes like kind of like a regular downhill and then it just drops off to your death. And I swung on it once just to prove I wasn't a pussy. And then after that, I was like, I'm also not an idiot. I'm not going to do that again because that was not safe. I could tell that somebody was going to die. And lo and behold, someone did not die, but I think they broke their leg and arm. Because like a couple months later, apparently my friend and a couple other friends that he goes there all the time with uh, were swinging on the tire swing and it broke. And one of them fell down a very large drop and broke a couple bones. And looking back on it now, that friend made terrible decisions. So, you know, the moral of that story is you need more black friends because if I would have been there with my black friend, he would have been straight up with me and said, no, don't do that, you're gonna die. That There's a reason why, why black people always die in horror movies and it's because they have common sense. Unlike us weird white people where we go inside the haunted house for some weird reason when, you know, the black people are outside being like, you guys are, you guys are idiots, don't go inside, you're gonna die. And with that, let's end this god-awful map. This is not worth it. Don't play this. This was terrible. Why did I do- this was awful. So, that is where we are gonna call it. Thank you to everyone that watched. I really do appreciate it. Thank you to all my Patreon supporters. You guys are fucking amazing. Uh, if you would like to be a Patreon supporter, check out that link right down there below. If you are a Patreon supporter, you get videos early and your name in the video. That's pretty cool sometimes so again thank you to my patreon supporters i love you guys and if i could lick you i would that's not weird but uh that's pretty much it make sure you guys are following me on twitter instagram and discord and hopefully guys have a fantastic day i'll see you in the next one peace